We're going to start with our feet hip distance apart. We're going to have a softness, almost a bounce feeling in our knees. And we're just going to sway side to side. And if you'd like, you can take your feet a little bit further apart. And let your arms sway side to side. up the body to start. You just bend one knee and then the other, shifting your weight side to side. hands to our hips. Continue the side to side, but pause when you get to each side. Center, inhale your arms up and over your head. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Let your fingertips touch. Exhale, forward fold. Continue to inhale up and exhale on the way down. One more time. This time, bend your knees a lot if you need to, to let your fingertips touch the floor. Let your hands rest on top of your thighs above your knees and slowly roll upright. We're going to step a little bit wider. And I have some weights here on the floor. And if you have some small hand weights or maybe some canned goods, now would be the time to get them. So we're going to inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Grab one of your weights and bring it to the center in front of you. You're going to place your left hand on the floor Take the weight and then just take it out to the right, like an airplane arm, and then sweep it back down to center and then take it back out. Sweep it down and take it back out, only going airplane height, and then back down. And you can either continue to look down as you do this, bring it back down, this will be the last time, or you can take your gaze out to the side 
where the weight is going. We're now going to switch sides. So let your right hand be on the floor. Let your left hand take the weight. Inhale, it goes out and you can look out. Exhale, it comes back down. Inhale, you can look down and it can just go straight out. Exhale down. You choose whichever is feeling good to you. We got two more. Last one. Leave the weight at the center. Bend your knees a lot. Let the back of your hands rest on the floor. Slowly rise up. Taking your time, your head and neck will be last. You'll take your arms out to the side. You'll lean to the left, drop the left hand down, take the right arm up. And we're not going very far. If you notice, I'm just right above my knee. Come back up to center. Drop your left hand. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Whatever hand it is, you're using the other one. <laughs> And again, we're not going very far. Come back up to center. Airplane arms, forward fold. Come down. This time, grab the other weight. Bend both knees a lot. Slowly come up with both weights. They're in front of your legs. You're going to turn your feet out. You're going to take your palms to face forward. You're going to bend your knees as you bring the weights up to your shoulders. And then you're going to straighten the legs and straighten the arms. Inhale, bring everything up and the knees bend. Exhale, go back down. We'll do this two more times. turn our feet forward. Airplane arms. Forward fold. With a flat back and then slowly bring your arms down. Inhale them both out. Exhale them down. You can bend your knees. This is three. This is two, last one, leave your weights on the floor, bend your knees a lot. You can let your palms face your face as you slowly rise, bringing your hands to your chest and then turn them out, lifting them up to the sky, swan dive, forward fold. Bend the knees a lot, come into a deep seated horse or a deep chair if you'd like to call it that. Wide legged chair. Swing the arms back, straighten the legs. Airplane arms flat back as you slowly rise. Inhale the hands all the way to the top. Exhale them all the way down. Hi to whoever's joined. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Come all the way down. Now you do not have to use the weights unless you just want to. Again, it can be a small can of soup. You're going to take the weight into one hand. The other hand stays on the floor. You take that arm with the weight out to the side and then bring it back down. Take it back out and bring it back down. Three more times and then bring it back down. 
This is two. And bring it back down. And this is one. Bring it back down. Let that hand be on the floor. Let the other hand grab the weight or the can. And you don't have to use the weights at all. So inhale that arm out with the weight. Bring it back down. Take it back out. And bring it back down. This is three. This is two. And the last one. Leave your weight on the floor. Bend both knees. Palms facing your face as you slowly rise up. Hands to your heart, then turn them out and up towards the sky. Swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, come back upright, all the way to the top. Exhale, forward fold. This time we're gonna grab the weights, turn it to where your palms are facing the back of the room. You can bend your knees as you slowly rise up. We're gonna keep our legs wide. We're gonna keep the weights in our hands. We're gonna turn one foot out while the other one stays pointed forward. We'll take both arms out and we'll bend the knee of the foot that turned out and come back up. Bend it and come back up. Three more and come back up. Two more. Come back up. And this is the last one. Come back up. Let your hands come down. Bring them right in front of your chest. Turn the foot in that was turned out. And then turn the opposite leg out. Swing the weights out. Bend the turned out foot. And come back up. Bend it again. And come back up. This will be number three, and come back up. Two more, and come back up. Last one, come back up. Turn the foot forward, bring the weights down. Slowly come forward and bring the weights to the floor. Bend your knees a lot as you slowly rise back up. And we're going to bring our legs together. We're going to march out a little bit. We've really been pressing into those feet. We're also going to use the chair today just for balance and just if you need it. We're going to turn and face the chair. We'll step one foot forward and the other foot back. And you can hang on to the chair. And you can adjust this back foot because you may need it closer. It just depends on how stretchy you are today. And if you're okay here, your hips are pointing forward towards the chair. And you can keep your hands on the back of the chair or you can raise them up above your head. If you don't like them above your head, you can bring your hands in front of your heart. From here, you're going to place your hands on the chair, and I may have to readjust a little bit. We're going to bend that front knee, and you're going to lean forward and straighten that front, leg, that front leg and take the other leg up off the floor. Now, you could have one arm 
down on the floor or one arm in the seat of the chair, or you can keep it on the back of the chair. And then just bring that back leg to meet the other. And I'm gonna step back a little bit. Take the opposite leg back. Let the front leg remain bent. Both hips are pointing forward. You can swing both arms upright. Again, you'll bring your hands down and lean into that front leg to lift off the other one. And again, I don't have my chair quite right. Some days I do this right, some days I don't. I can be like this. And then you'll just swing that leg down and we'll come back to the center of the mat. You're gonna bend both of your knees, and grab a hold of your weights. Your feet are gonna be about hip distance apart. I'm gonna turn just a little bit to the side. I want you, even if you don't have weights, shrug your shoulders up to your ears. Take a full breath here. And on an exhale, let them come down. All right, we're gonna do some chair with added arms for extra benefits. So, you just bend your knees as if you're gonna sit back into a chair. You can bring both hands in front of your heart and you can just open and close. Open and close. Three more, two more, last one out, and close. Now you're going to bring your elbows towards your sides and imagine that you're skiing. So you're going to go swing it back and then swing it back in the elbows, swing it back. This is three, I do believe. That's four. And that's five. All right, we're gonna bend a little bit more and you're gonna come a little bit more forward. Your arms are gonna come straight now and you're gonna lift out and come back. Two and come back. Three. four, and this is the last one, five. Bring your hands to your hips, slowly come back up right, and we're gonna set the weights down. You can put them on the chair if you like. And again, if you need the chair for balance, I might, we'll see. <laughs> I want you to spread the toes of one leg and really shift your weight into it and then bring the heel of the opposite foot just to the inside of that calf right above that ankle. Now you do not have to remove your feet from the floor or the mat. You can, unless you want to, you can bring that foot up against that calf or even up higher. I think all my house cleaning I did today is doing me in. I'm shaking a whole lot. So I think I'm going to keep my big toes on the floor as I do this. I'm going to swing my arms out and overhead. That'll be an inhale and then exhale. Inhale and exhale. Three more times. Two more times. Last one. Hands to your heart and come out. Go ahead and kick your feet out.
stirred up some dust bunnies earlier, so I keep feeling like I'm going to sneeze. All right, shift your weight to the opposite leg now. And you can kind of have a bend of a, just a tiny micro bend in your knee in that standing leg. And then bring that heel to the inside, just above that ankle. like you can place that foot up on the calf or you can hold on to a chair or something if you like or you can keep your big toe on the floor and we'll inhale up and exhale inhale and exhale inhale that's three Two more. Last one. All right, come on out of that. We are going to come down to the floor and we're going to do a couple of minutes with our weights for our arms. I want you to, to start off, sit comfortably. Now you do not have to do the weights unless you just want to, but I'm adding a little bit more resistance training in with Saturday's class. So if you'd like to start, just grab a hold of your weights and just sit here for just a moment, letting them be in your hands. Now if you've got canned goods, you can leave them to the side. As a matter of fact, I think I'll leave mine to the side. We're just going to take a couple of breaths here. We're going to see if this is where we feel comfortable at. Maybe you need to switch legs. Maybe a hip is giving you some grief. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to sit up on a blanket and see if that doesn't make my seat just a little bit more comfortable. And it definitely does. So if you are got a blanket nearby, I suggest you get it because it might make it feel more comfortable. We're going to grab our weights and we're going to do bicep curls. And I'm going to have to move my little clock over here so I can watch the time because we're probably going to go through these for a couple of minutes, okay? So you're going to inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And you're letting your arms come down in like an A or a shape of an A. And eventually we will switch this up. But we're going to do this a few more times before we do. And if your breath gets out of sync, maybe you're inhaling when I said that we were supposed to be exhaling. It's okay. As long as you're breathing, that's the important part. And pacing yourself. Maybe you're going a little bit slower than I am. We'll do two more going down in the shape of an A. This is the last one. Bring them up. Okay, now we're going to have our arms come up to field goal arms. And you're just going to go up and down. Up and down. And you don't have to let your weights touch, but you're just going straight up and bringing it down. And when you do bring it down, you're not bringing it back, not yet. We're just bringing it straight up and straight down to where the weights are right in front of your shoulders, okay? But you are dropping the elbows down as far as you can in this position. Continue to breathe normally. Try to let the inhale be on one motion and the exhale be on another.
and we'll do another move using these weights. I know you're like, why aren't we taking a break? Well, once we're done with this, we're done with this. So now our weights are directly in front of our chest and we're opening out and we're taking our shoulder blades towards each other and then coming back in and going out. In and out. Continue to breathe and take this at your own pace. And if the weights are too much, feel free to put them down. Not everyone can do this long of a circuit, especially with the arms, with weights. And if you notice, just then I changed it up and went straight with my arms back instead of just back with bent elbows. So you can change it up, whatever you need. Maybe you go straight out with your arms and then bend them back in. But you take whatever you need from this. All right, we're gonna go back to bicep curls. This definitely works all the muscles in your arms. And by changing it up while doing it, it does help to keep you from getting fatigued. Again, you don't have to use the weights. You can just use your hands. But we're getting all this movement with our arms. And you're sitting up nice and tall, trying to be mindful of your core. Maybe your belly is sucked in just a little bit. I don't know. Maybe it's not, but try to be mindful of your posture as you are working with weights. And as always, you change it up when you're ready to change it up, because only you know when your arms are getting tired of doing it one way. And you can change it up as often as you like. As a matter of fact, I'm going to punch forward I can't believe we've done it that long I just looked you don't want to know maybe you do I think we're gonna do it for just a, a hair longer I'm gonna finish this out with forward punches got probably less than a minute and I promise we won't pick up the weights again for the rest of the day. And smile while you do this. It's not the end of the world. And this one and that one. And put your weights away. And give yourself a hand because you just did approximately six minutes of nothing but arms, so that is fantastic. We're gonna sit with the right leg in front and you're going to lean to the right and take upper body circles. Maybe your arms feel a little bit tighter and you can, you can shake them out while you're doing these circles. Get rid of the grippy hands that you had. more in this direction. We'll do one more and come up to center and all you're going to do is you're going to drop your right elbow into your lap and reach your left arm up. And you're not you're not trying to lean over to the side where you've dropped your arm in your lap. You're just reaching straight up. 
Big breath in, and on the exhale, you're going to go ahead and lean towards the direction of your arm that's in your lap. Nice big stretch. That should feel really good. And then we'll switch sides. So lean to the opposite side. Take the other arm up. And you can grab a hold of your toes if you like. Again, to start with, we're just reaching straight up. And then slowly lean over. Only going as far as you can go to that side. And come back up, and we're going to switch which leg is in front. And now whichever leg you have in front, you're going to lean to that side and do those upper body circles again. I'm hoping by now that your arms are not yelling at you for doing all that hard work with them earlier. When we get ready to lay down on the mat later on today, we are going to work our core a little bit. Won't be any crazy sit-ups or anything like that. We're going to do two more upper body circles. This will be the last one. Come to the center. You're going to drop that forearm into the leg that's in the front and reach up with the opposite arm. Take a deep breath in, and on your exhale, lean over to that side, that opposite side. Slow come back upright and switch sides. Let that forearm drop into that side of that lap. Take a deep breath in and on the exhale lean over to that opposite side. Slowly come upright. We're going to get a twist. So you're going to take your, whichever leg you have in front, you're going to take the opposite hand and reach for that knee. And you're going to twist in the direction of the leg that is in front. Nice and tall. And just as we did last weekend, if you need to move stuff out of the way, to make it able for you to be able to get a better twist, go ahead and do that. Slowly and gently untwist. Lean back and switch your feet again. Let the other leg be in front. We will inhale up. Twist our bodies to the leg that is in front. And again, if you need to tuck stuff in and move stuff around, feel free to do so.
you'd like, you can look forward. Take your gaze down towards the floor. And then slowly and gently untwist. We're going to go ahead and get onto our backs, but before we do, I want you to just walk your hands forward. Bow your head towards your chin. And we'll take 10 breaths here. Five more breaths. This will be the last breath. Slowly walk your hands back towards your body until, sorry about that, until you are upright <laughs> and take a yawn if you need it. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm going to make sure I'm not going to run in to any of my blocks. And I just found a tack on the floor. Wait, it's not blocks. Somebody knows what they are, but I don't think it's me. <laughs> All right. We're going to take that blanket that we just were sitting on, and we're going to use it as a pillow or comforter of sorts for our neck. And you can roll it up once if you like, or if you have a neck pillow, that's even better. And we're going to come down here to the floor. Our knees are going to be bent. Our arms are out and away from our body. In the shape of an A, an outline of an A. I want you to slowly slide your right foot using your heel against the mat or the floor and then bring it back up, bend it, place your heel back onto the mat with a bent leg, and push it back down and out all the way straight. Bring it back up. Let your heel find the floor first and push it away. And if you run into your chair, that's quite all right. We're going to do five on this side. This will be the last one for this side. You slide that heel, feeling that restriction, that traction, and then place that foot onto the mat. Now we're going to get that on the other side. So with the heel of the left foot, begin to push the leg away until it's straight. Bring it up and then bend it. Let the heel find the floor and push it away. We've got two more to do. Remember to push away with that heel. This is the last one. and bring both feet on to the mat. You're going to turn your palms face down. You're going to tilt your pelvis upwards and raise your hips up off the floor. Pressing into your feet to allow yourself to be steady. And slowly lower back down. 
Bring both knees towards your chest and gently rock side to side. We're going to let the right foot find the mat. We're going to cross the left ankle over the right knee. Now we're going to raise our hips once again, but you're going to really press into that right foot, tilt your pelvis, and raise up. You're not going to go very high. And then slowly lower back down. Switch sides. Left leg goes down, left foot does, left knee is bent, right foot goes over the left knee. Press into all four corners of that left foot before you raise your hips up off the mat. And slowly come back down. All right, we're going to take the right leg down straight. We're keeping the left knee bent. You're going to bring going to move the chair. <laughs> You're going to bring the right leg up. Take it down. Take it up. And that right foot is flexed. Take it down. This is three. Take it down. This is two. Take it down. Last one. Take it down. Now I want you to turn this right foot outwards. So you're turning your foot away from the inside of your body and you're going to raise that leg up and bring it down. Raise it up and bring it down. Three and bring it down two, and bring it down, last one, and bring it down. All right, bend that right leg, extend the left leg down. Left foot is flexed. Knee is facing the ceiling, toes are facing the ceiling. Lift up and take it down. Lift up and take it down. Lift up, take it down. Two more, take it down. Last one, take it down. Okay, turn that foot out to where the knee is pointing outwards and away from your body. Lift that leg, take it down. Lift, take it down. Again, take it down. Two more, take it down. Last one, take it down. Bend both knees, bring both towards your chest. Gently rock side to side. Extend the left, the right leg down while holding the left knee towards our chest. Now the right leg is kind of loose. You're not flexing that right foot. You're letting it just relax. You can grab behind the left knee like I am, or you can grab in front of it.
Slowly release that leg down the length of your mat and bring the other knee up. Again, you can grab it behind the knee if you like, the back of the thigh, and that's fine. Or you can grab it at the front, whatever is available to you. Slowly release that leg down the length of your mat. Let your feet fall open for just a moment. We'll slowly bend one knee followed by the other, making any adjustments you need to. We will cross the left knee over the right knee and we will let both legs fall to the right. And you can let your gaze go to the left or to the right, whatever feels comfortable. Feel free to yawn. Slowly and gently bring both legs back up. And now without uncrossing them, you're going to let them both go towards the left. And they may not go very far, and we're not going to hold this for very long. Slowly and gently come back to the center with your legs. Gently uncross that left leg and extend it down the length of the mat and let the right leg follow. Take your arms and take them above your head if you can. Everyone is different. Some people might be able to take both arms up. You can let your hands rest on your forehead or even over your eyes for just a moment. And close out any of the light that might be coming in. Bring your arms back down by your sides, out away from you, bend both knees. And now we're going to cross is this right? No. We're going to cross the right leg over the left 
and we're going to let them both fall to the left. Slowly and gently bring your legs back upright and take them over to the opposite side. Again, they won't go very far. We're only holding this for five breaths. After your fifth breath, bring your knees back to center. Gently uncross your legs. Let the soles of your feet, the insides of your feet touch and let both knees fall open away from each other. And you will stay here for several minutes. And if you're watching the screen, you'll see me moving. But that's only because I'm going to get up and guide you through final relaxation. So stay laying on your back. The soles of your feet touching, your knees falling open. If for some reason that does not feel comfortable with your knees falling open, if you have a blanket or a pillow, you can prop it up under each one of your legs that are flopped open to give you a little bit more support. I want you to start to notice your breath. like you to start to inhale to a count of five and at the top of that inhale hold it for a count of two and then just exhale for as long as you can Slowly and gently let your feet go down the length of your mat, letting your legs lay straight and your feet fall open. If 
you like, you can gently check in with your neck, gently turning your head side to side, as if you are saying no. Eyes are closed. Bring your head to a neutral space, keeping your eyes closed and your legs down the length of your mat or your bed. I want you to take the palms of your hand and bring them together and start to rub your palms together to create heat in your palms. Do this as you lay down. And once you get some good warmth flowing through your hands and you can feel the heat in your palms, I want you to take your palms and cup your eyes. Keeping your eyes closed and your hands cupped over your eyes. Continue to breathe normally. Take at least four more breaths before you release your hands back down to your sides. like you to slowly and gently begin to wiggle your toes. Maybe you point and flex your feet. Begin to rotate your ankles. Begin to stretch your arms out as though you're waking up for the first time. Maybe you interlace your fingers and push them up and away from you. Maybe you yawn. Oh, I've got the yawnies. <sighs> and then let your arms just ragdoll beside you. Slowly and gently begin to bend one knee followed by the other. Placing the soles of your feet onto the mat. Gently scoot your hips to one side and roll over to the opposite side that you scooted to. And just curl up as if you're at home. And take another yawn if you need to. <laughs> Take a couple of sighing breaths. On your next natural inhale, gently push yourself up to a seated, comfortable position, taking your time. You're gonna open your arms wide and crisscross them in front and gently rock or twist side to side, making note of which arm is on top. Open wide once again and let the other arm be on top. Gently rocking side to side and then let your hands come to your knees. You'll inhale your arms up over your head. Exhale them to your heart. Again, inhale. One last time. The light in me honors the light in each of you. And until next time, this will be 
Peace out.